Hey everybody, welcome back. Hope your Tuesday's going good. I uh, have some uh, stuff to show you for a mail day. I thought I was going to do some of the Ignite packs. Maybe we'll do some of those later. <coughs> Excuse me, don't know yet. But anyway, quick mail day and a Walmart finds day. So yesterday, my wife, or the other day, my wife told me that I had some stuff coming in the mail, which she showed me. And she got me three of the four newest Funko Pops. The fourth one's on its way. Uh, you see we have a Jimmy Johnson here. This is number nine in the series. Uh, I do have the first eight, so it's like Richard Petty, Dale Earnhardt, Jeff Gordon, Kevin Harvick, Kyle Busch, a bunch of stars. We have Bubba Wallace and Ryan Blaney. And uh, the Martin Truex Jr., she said, is on its way, so thank you. Thank you very much to my wife for getting me those. I got a, got a shelf that's got all my Funkos on it. It's kind of in disarray right now. Um... Just a little bit ago, we went to Walmart, picked up a few things, and uh, one of which was some die-cast. So I did get the William Byron Daytona Dual Winner die-cast. I like that uh, old, I don't want to call it a classic throwback to Gordon, but I think it's ironic that his first win in the 24 also came in one of the dual races, much like Jeff Gordon. I got another one of the Dale Earnhardt Filter Time cars that he ran in the Pro Invitational Series. And then the Jordan Anderson truck. This one's kind of been uh, a silent, uh, I don't want to call it a sleeper, but it's been kind of one that a lot of people have been going after, and they're real excited when they get it. I don't know of any other licensed Jordan Anderson die cast, so that's kind of fun. But then in the mail yesterday, this was my eBay purchase. I got the 1992 Deco Racing Set Series 1. There you see the drivers that are on the card, uh, or on the set. So we'll go through those and review those real quickly. I do have a Davey Allison here. Of course, he won the Daytona 500 in 1992. Let's look at the backs of the cards real quick. It just kind of has a little bit of information of the 1991 season, their career, and another picture of their car on track. Rusty Wallace in the famous number two uh, Miller Genuine Draft Pontiac for Roger Penske. Derek Cope, who had won the Daytona 500 two years prior to this, and the Pure Later Chevrolet for Bob Whitkin Racing. He also won at Dover in 1990. We have Ernie Irvin, who at the time was the defending Daytona 500 winner for Morgan McClure Motorsports. Dale Jarrett, this was their debut race, 1992. There you see like the NFL logo, the Marriott Hotels, Interstate, who is still with the team in an associate role. Can't see who's on the sea post. Libby's light. I'm not sure what that is. Um, but they had, uh, you know, Coach Gibbs had just recently left there. Was He was actually still actively involved in the NFL and would retire a couple years later. Um, Hut Strickland, driving for Bobby Allison. Always liked this car. Always thought it was a sharp-looking car. In 1992, they switched to Chevy and then later to Ford after they lost their Buick. Uh, after Buick withdrew. Factory support, I should say. Sterling Marlin, this was the second Junior Johnson team. I'm trying to see Texas Pete Barbecue there underneath the Maxwell House logo. Then you had Morgan Shepard driving the iconic Wood Brothers Ford. He finished second in the Daytona 500 in 1992, his first race for the team. And he would race all the way through the end of the 95 season with the Wood Brothers. The final card in the set, uh, Bobby Hamilton. 1991 Cup Series Rookie of the Year. This was TriStar Motorsports. It was owned by Dave Fuge, uh, Mark Smith, I'm sorry, Dave Smith, and I can't think of the third guy. Um, the name escapes me. But there's three guys that owned it. It was called TriStar Motorsports. Uh, they ran Oldsmobiles in 91, 92. They started with Oldsmobiles, and then they pretty much switched to every body style that year. They eventually switched to Fords for 1993. Who was it? It was Mark Not um, Was it Mark Smith? I, I, I know it was Dave Fuge, Mark Smith, and there's a third guy, and I can't remember his name, and I apologize. But it was, a, it was a smaller team, but they were relatively competitive. They were a top 20 team most weeks, but at any rate, let's go ahead and open up a couple packs of Ignite. I'm just itching to open some cards, so we're going to go ahead and open up a couple packs of Ignite here, because the video's only been four minutes long. Maybe we'll get a couple of decent cards out of this just to see what we get. We're just kind of, that one feels a little thick. Well, they all feel thick because they got them spacers in them. So we've seen Tony on the packs. We've seen our odds. We've seen all this. Like I say, I'm just opening a couple quick packs here. 
just with some filler material because we didn't have a lot going on. So we'll start with David Reagan, Jamie McMurray, filler card, Casey Kane, I believe this was his first year at Hendrick, Greg Biffle, and Casey Mears driving for the Geico team, uh, Germain Racing. Getting ready to close in on Germain's last race as well as Bob Levine's uh, number 95 the last race this weekend at Phoenix. Hate to see them two teams go. They've been fixtures in the split for a very, very long time. Go to another pack here. We got Ryan Newman, top speed, driving for Stuart Haas Racing. Ooh, a Hall of Fame card. I'll take that any day of the week. Richie Evans, multiple time modified series champion. The number 61 is the only number that's retired in NASCAR, and it is only retired in the NASCAR Modified Series. We have Michael Waltrip, Regan Smith, Kyle Busch, and is there another card stuck to the back? No, just the little security deal. Let's see how many packs we got. Two, three, four, five, six. So we'll save those packs for another day. So we kind of covered a little bit of ground here. Hope you guys enjoyed everything today. Had a lot of fun making this video. We are up to 241 subs. I'm really excited about that. We keep inching our way to 250, which is a nice little milestone, but it gets us closer to that 500 mark. Of course, you guys know when we get to 500, we will do a relic card giveaway. I look forward to doing that. Hope you guys all stay tuned for that when we get there. Uh, appreciate all the likes, the comments, the subscriptions, etc., etc. So come back tomorrow. I'm not sure what we're going to do. Maybe we'll open a box of 2020 Prism tomorrow. That sounds like fun. So tomorrow we're going to open a box of 2020 Prism. Uh, till then, hope you all have a great rest of your Tuesday. It's election day. Get out there and do your duties and vote. Uh, we just got back from voting a little bit ago. So may your candidate win. This is uh, uh, it'll be an interesting day. So anyway, thanks again, everybody. Appreciate all the, the support. So we will see you tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday.